first contender tonight is Kyle Hoffman. He's a financial assistant from York and his specialist subject is Pink Floyd. David Sutherland from Gateshead's answering questions on the Russian Field Marshal Georgi Zukov. Next, David Love, a financial planner from Staffordshire on the footballer Stan Cullis. Ken Morland is an energy analyst from Brecon. His specialist subject, the works of the writer H.P. Lovecraft. And Nicola Nuttall, a children's play centre owner from Lancashire. Her subject, the films of Tom Hanks. Hello and welcome to Mastermind with me, John Humphreys. Tonight's five semi-finalists have already made that scary walk to the black chair and now, if they're to get through the grand final, they will have to do it again. And it's the usual rules, 90 seconds of questions on their specialist subject and then two minutes on general knowledge. So, let's have our first contender, please. And your name is... Kyle Hopman. Your occupation? Financial assistant. And your chosen subject? Pink Floyd. Pink Floyd in 90 seconds. Here we go. What is the title of Pink Floyd's first chart single released in 1967? Arnold Lane. Yep. What was the name of the design agency formed by Storm Thorgerson and Aubrey Poe Powell that designed several Pink Floyd album covers, including The Dark Side of the Moon and Metal? Hypnosis. Yep. The 1979 number one single, Another Brick in the Wall Part 2, had backing vocals by children from which London school? Islington Green School. Yes, in November 1973, Pink Floyd played two benefit concerts in one day with Soft Machine at the Rainbow Theatre that raised £10,000 for a drummer who'd broken his back. Who? Steve Wyatt. Robert Wyatt. The band's 1972 album, Obscured by Clouds, was originally produced as a soundtrack for a Barbe Schroeder film. What was it called? La Vallée. Yes. Who sang lead vocals on Have a Cigar for the album Wish You Were Here? Roy Harper. Yes. The title of Pink Floyd's first album, The Piper at the Gates of Dawn, is taken from a chapter heading in a classic children's book. What's it called? The Wind of the Willows. Yes. Come in number 51, Your Time Is Up, is one of three songs for the film's A Brisky Point. Which earlier song is it a reworking of? Gosh. Hey, you. Careful with that axe, Eugene. Which music critic and later television presenter wrote in Rolling Stone magazine, the dark side of the moon has flash, the true flash that comes from the excellence of a superb performance? Hans Keller. Lloyd Grossman. Which Pink Floyd tribute song to Sid Barrett includes the line, come on, you painter, you piper, you prisoner? Shine on your crazy diamond. Yes. Who was the author who was invited on stage to play acoustic guitar on Brain Damage at the band's Earl's Court concert on the 28th of October 1994? Robert Harris. It <laughs> might have been my did. It was Douglas Adams, oh, yeah, in fact. Yeah, yeah. Was, yeah. Uh, there you go. You knew it all the time. That's what the black chair does to you. Anyway, Kyle, you have seven points. Thank you. And our next contender, please. And your name is? David Sutherland. Your occupation? Retired. And your chosen subject? Marshal Georgi Zhukov. In 90 seconds, starting now, Marshal Zhukov was an officer in the Soviet Red Army who led the operation to capture Berlin in 1945. In 39, he was made hero of the Soviet Union after a victory over the Japanese in which battle? Kalkingol. Yes, Zhukov coordinated the Central, Bryansk and Western Fronts against the German Operation Citadel at which battle in 1943? Kursk. Yes, in September 1944, Zhukov supervised the Soviet invasion of a European country with a pro-German government. Which country? Bulgaria. Yes. On the 9th of May 1945, Zhukov was the Soviet signatory on the document that marked the German surrender. Who represented Britain? Uh, Montgomery. No, Tedder. In January 1941, the Soviets played two war games that anticipated an invasion by the German army. Which general did Zhukov defeat in the games? Uh, pass. Who commanded the first Ukrainian front that supported the first Belarusian front led by Zhukov in the final attack on Berlin in 1945? Konyev. Correct. What was the name of the head of the Soviet Air Force who denounced Zhukov under interrogation after he was arrested in 1946? Oh, um... 
Uh, Antipov. Novikov. Oh, no. Stalin dismissed Zhukov from his position of commander-in-chief in 1946 and posted him to a city on the Black Sea. Which city? Odessa. Yes. Which government posted Zhukov hold between February 1955 and October 57? Ministry of Defence. Yes. In 1957, Zhukov defended Khrushchev against a group of Communist Party members who tried to overthrow him. What was that group called? Uh, the Bulgarian group. The anti-party group. And your time is up. You had one pass. The general that Zhukov defeated in those war games was Dmitry Pavlov. Mm. And you have scored, David, six points. Yeah. And our next contender, please. And your name is? David Love. Your occupation? Financial planner. And your chosen subject? Stan Cullis. Stan Cullis in 90 seconds. Here we go. Cullis was a football player, captain and manager from 1935 to 1970. Wolverhampton Wanderers' first trophy under his management was the 49 FA Cup. Which team did they beat 3-1 in the final at Wembley? Leicester City. Yep. With what army unit did Cullis serve for most of the Second World War? He rose to the rank of company sergeant major. Physical training corps. Yep. Which club did Cullis play a trial match for in 1933? Bolton Wanderers. Yep. Wolves built a training ground in the suburb of Wolverhampton while Cullis was managing the club. What was his name? Castlecroft. Yep. Which position was Cullis moved to for a practice game early in his career with Wolves? He played in that position for most of the rest of his career. Centre-half. Yes. What is the name of the team in South Yorkshire that Cullis used as a nursery club? It supplied Wolves with players including Ron Flowers and Roy Swinburne. Both Wanderers. Yes. Who were England's opponents when he captained the side for the only time in his last full international appearance in 1939? Romania. Yep. Who beat Wolves 9-2 on aggregate in the quarter-final of the European Cup in 1960? Bar Barcelona. Yes. 1963-4 was Cullis' last full season in charge of Wolves. What position did they finish in the first division table? 17th. 16th. 16th. Who did Wolves beat 4-3 at Molyneux on the 14th of September 64 in Cullis' last match in charge of the club? West Ham. Yes. Cullis was sacked by Wolves in 64, but returned to management in December of the following year with which club? Birmingham City. Yes. In the final match of Cullis' playing career, Wolves only needed a draw against Liverpool to secure their first league title, but lost 2-1. Who scored Liverpool's winner after Cullis did not commit a professional foul to stop him? Albert Stubbins. Albert Stubbins is correct. No passes, David. You have 11 points. Thank you. Thank you. And our next contender, please. And your name is? Ken Morland. Your occupation? Energy analyst. And your chosen subject? The works of H.P. Lovecraft. In 90 seconds, here we go. Which fictional character is the protagonist of the H.P. Lovecraft stories The Dream Quest of Unknown Kedath, The Silver Key and the co-authored Through the Gates of the Silver Key? Randolph Carter. Yes, At the Mountains of Madness is narrated by the geologist William Dyer, who leads an ill-fated expedition to which continent? Antarctica. Yes, in The Terrible Old Man, what type of objects does the title character keep in a bare room in his house? He gives them names such as Scarface, Long Tom and Spanish Joe. Bottles. Yes, The Whisperer in the Darkness is narrated by Albert Wilmarth and instructor in literature at a fictional university in Arkham that appears in several Lovecraft stories. Which university? Miskatonic. Correct. Who wrote the lines that provide the epigraph of Lovecraft's story, The Outsider? Pass. You fool, Warren is dead, spoken by a deep, hollow, inhuman voice. They're the final words of which story? The Statement of Randolph Carter. Yes. In The Rats in the Walls, the narrator moves into a ruined priory. What's it called? Exum. Yep. A Lovecraft short story that was first published in the Vagrant magazine in 1919 takes its title from the name of a fish god in Philistine legend. What's the god's name? Dagon. Yep. Which of Lovecraft's stories is narrated by Daniel Upton, who has killed his best friend, Edward Darby, but tries to show that his actions do not amount to murder? The thing on the doorstep. Yes. At the opening of the case of Charles Dexter Ward, we learn that the title character has disappeared from an insane asylum just outside which state capital? Boston. Providence. Lovecraft dedicated his story, The Haunter of the Dark, to an American author who would go on to write the novel Psycho, upon which Alfred Hitchcock's film was based. Which author? 
Robert Block. Is correct. You had just one pass. The chap who wrote the lines that provide the epigraph of Lovecraft story, The Outsider, is none other than John Keats. Ten that one pass, you've scored nine points. <laughs> and our final contender, please. And your name is? Nicola Nuttall. Your occupation? I'm a children's play centre owner. And your chosen subject? The films of Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks's films. Here we go. Which filmmaker has directed Tom Hanks in a number of films, including Bridge of Spies and Catch Me If You Can? Steven Spielberg. Yep, in the terminal. Victor Novoski is stranded in the International Transit Lounge at JFK Airport because of a military coup taking place in his home country, the Republic of... Rokosia. Yep. Hanks has directed several films in which he's also acted, including a 2011 film where he appears in the title role. What's it called? Larry Crown. Yes. What is the name of the fairground machine that grants Josh Baskin his wish to be grown up in the film Big? Zolta Speaks. Yep. In Forrest Gump, what is the name of the hurricane that destroys all of Bayou Labatra's shrimp fishing fleet apart from Gump's boat Jenny? Hurricane Carmen. Yes. What name does Chuck Nolan give to the volleyball that becomes his companion Wilson. on the island where he is stranded in Castaway? Wilson. Yes. In Saving Mr Banks, Hank's character Walt Disney is told by Pamela Travers that a particular colour must not be used in the film version of Mary Poppins because she has simply gone off it. Which colour? Red. Yep. In which 1992 film does Hanks play Jimmy Dugan, a drunken former baseball player who manages a women's team during the Second World War? A League of Their Own. Correct. What is the name of the psychology student played by Hanks in the 1980 horror film He Knows You're Alone? Pass. In which 2011 film does Hanks play Thomas Schell, the father of a boy who searches New York for the lock that matches a key he finds among his father's belongings? Extremely close and incredibly loud. In extremely loud and incredibly <laughs> close. In The Da Vinci Code, after Robert Langdon looks at the tomb of Sir Isaac Newton, he realises that the correct code word to open the cryptex is what? Rose? Apple. Apple. Yes. One pass, the name of that psychology student played by Hanks and he knows you're alone was Elliot. So there you go. Uh, you scored, Nicola, eight points. Ah, quite a spread of scores there. Let's have a look at all of them. In fifth place, six points, David Sutherland. Fourth place, seven points, Kyle. Third place, eight points, Nicola. Second place, nine points, Ken. First place, 11 points, David Love. <laughs> round two now, the general knowledge round, and if there's a tie at the end of it, then the number of passes is taken into account, and the person with the fewer passes is the winner. So let us get on with it and ask David Sutherland to join us again, please. And uh, you start out with six, David, but plenty of time to catch up because we have two minutes for the general knowledge round starting now. What is the name of the cup-shaped vessel made of a hard material in which ingredients are ground with a pestle? A mortar. Yep. Dorking, Leghorn and Orpington are among the breeds of what domestic poultry? A chicken. Yep. In Leicester Square in 1981, Sir Ralph Richardson unveiled a statue of an actor in his screen persona of The Tramp. Which actor? Charlie Shoplin. Yes. Whose 2016 novel, Rather Be the Devil, features retired detective John Rebus, his former colleagues, Siobhan Clark and Malcolm Fox, and the crime bosses, Daryl Christie and Big Jer Cafferty. Ian Runken. Yep. What is the name of the strategically important narrow strait that links the Persian Gulf on the west side with the Gulf of Oman and the Arabian Sea on the east? The Strait of Hormuz. Yes. The works of which German composer born in Bonn in December 1770 include nine completed symphonies? Beethoven. Yes. What is the name of the actress who appeared in all seven of the road films with Bob Hope and Bing Crosby? A pass. What did Francis Bacon say in a treatise on wealth is like muck, not good except it be spread? Um, knowledge. Money. No. What is the name of the family in the television series The Beverly Hillbillies? The head of the family is Jed, and other members include the irascible Granny and the glamorous daughter Ellie Mae. Clumpet. Yes. The name of which ancient city is used in Rastafarianism to represent everything that is oppressive in white culture and their place of exile from their African roots? Babylon. Yes. Under what name have the Dublin-born sisters Anne, Maureen, Bernadette, Linda and Colleen had seven top 20 hit singles? Oh, pass. Which Northamptonshire town was a centre of the iron and steel industry until its main works was closed down in 1980? 
Corby. Yep. Which sea monster of Scandinavian folklore is mentioned in a poem by Tennyson and in the title of a novel by John Wyndham? It's thought to have been inspired by sightings of a giant squid. A kraken. Yep. What financial institution was guarded at night by a detachment from the Brigade of Guards for nearly 200 years following the Gordon riots in 1780? Bank of England. Yes. Whose film and television roles include Miss Willing in Carry On Matron and Miss Shirley Brahms in Are You Being Served? Uh, Hattie Jakes. It was Wendy Richard. Could well have been Hattie Jakes, couldn't it? <laughs> uh, two passes. Uh, it was the Nolans. All those sisters and the actress who appeared in all seven of the road films was Dorothy Lamour. You now have a total, though, David, of 17 points. <laughs> And now Kyle again, please. And uh, you start out with seven points, Kyle. 17 is now the score to beat. Here we go. What Gothic novel, first published in 1897, combines folk tales of the undead and historical accounts of Vlad the Impaler? Dracula. Yep. What Italian word for time is used for the speed that a piece of music is performed at? Tempo. Yep. What is the smallest of the international standard A series of paper sizes? It measures 26 millimetres by 37 millimetres. A10? Yes. Tashkent is the capital of one of the five Central Asian republics that emerged from the breakup of the Soviet Union. Which one? Uzbekistan. Yes. What is the title of the novel by Irvin Welsh that was rejected for the 93 Booker Prize shortlist after the objection of two judges who'd been offended by it? Trainspotting. Yes. What common name related to the violin is given to the species of crab in which one claw of the males is much larger than the other? Fiddler. Yes. What artistic movement that sought to break with the past and celebrate dynamism and invention came to be associated associated chiefly with painters such as Gino Severini and Carlo Carà. Vorticism. Futurism. Which organs that filter the blood are principally made up of a large number of tubular units called nephrons? Kidneys. Yes. What general name for the mountains of the central highlands of Scotland comes from a battle fought there between the Romans and the Picts in AD 84? Grampians. Yes. In what 2017 film does Scarlett Johansson play Major, a human who is saved from a terrible crash and cyber-enhanced to be a perfect soldier? Ghost in a Shell. Yes. What is the name of the arid, low-lying region of California where the world's highest temperature of 134 degrees Fahrenheit was recorded in July 1913? Death Valley. Yes. Who was the Home Secretary who called out the troops to help the police during a riot by striking miners in Tonopandi in South Wales in 1910? Stanley Baldwin. Winston Churchill. What word for a vote by the general populace on a single issue comes from the Latin for something to be carried back? Referendum. Yes, in April 2017, Sign of the Times was a debut number one solo hit single for which member of One Direction? Zayn Malik. Harry Styles. What name is usually given to the passage of the Bible in Exodus chapter 20 that begins, I am the Lord thy God which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt out of the house of bondage? The Lord is my shepherd. The Ten Commandments. Oh. <laughs> Carl, you have a total now of 18 points. Thank you. <laughs> and now, Nicola, again, please. And you, Nicola, start out with eight points. The score to beat is now 18. So, let's see if you can do that. Here we go. What famous building was constructed as a mausoleum for his favourite wife by the Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan? Taj Mahal. Yes, Zeus took the form of an animal when he approached the maiden Europa and carried her off to Crete. What animal? Bull. Yep. What London place of worship was founded by Edward the Confessor on the site of a monastery on land known as Thorny Island? Westminster Abbey. Yes, who first entered the UK singles charts aged 15 in 1964 with Shout, backed by a group called The Lovers? Lily. Yeah. What name for a Native American tent or wigwam, typically made of skins or canvas stretched over a frame of converging poles, comes from the Sioux for dwelling? Teepee. Yes. The masterpieces of which Spanish artist, who lived from 1746 to 1828, include works that reflect the horrors of the French invasion of Spain during the Napoleonic Wars? Velasquez. Francisco de Goya. Who plays the title role of Belle in the 2017 film version of Beauty and the Beast? Emma Watson. Yes. What member of the pig family native to Africa gets its name from the two pairs of protuberances on the male's wide head? Rhinoceros. Warthog. Edith Mary Pagetta's first crime novels were published in the late 1930s under the pen name Jolly and Carr, but she's better known by the name under which she wrote the Brother Cadfael mysteries. What is it? 
Umberto Eco. Ellis Peters. The Australian Capital Territory that includes the country's capital, Canberra, is an enclave in which Australian state? New South Wales. Yes. The collection of over 6,000 statues of soldiers and horses discovered in 1974 near the Chinese city of Xi'an is known by what name? Terracotta Army. Yes. What form of sugar found in fruits and honey that also circulates in the blood has a name that comes from the Greek for sweet? Fructose? Glucose. In the original television series Dallas, Jenna Wade was played by Morgan Fairchild and Francine Tacker before which actress took on the role? Uh, Cheryl Teagues. Priscilla Presley. <laughs> the Palmieri brothers, Marco and Giuseppe, are among the title characters of an operetta by Gilbert and Sullivan. What's it called? Pirates of Penzance. The Gondoliers. Colonel Paul Tibbetts had the name of his mother painted on the nose of the B-29 that he flew on a bombing mission to Japan on the 6th of August 1945. What was her name? Enola Gay. Yes, <laughs> Enola Gay. It's always <laughs> worth having a go. Always. Nicola, you have scored a total of 17 points. <laughs> and now Ken again, please. And you have nine points to start with, Ken. 18, still the score to beat. Let's see if you can do it. Here we go. What was the monetary unit in France prior to the introduction of the euro in 2002? French franc. Yep. What aspect of life was ruled over by the deity Asclepius according to Greco-Roman mythology? Sleep. Medicine. Which oh. seaside town in North Yorkshire, previously well known for its folk festivals, is also now noted for its annual gatherings of Goths? Whitby. Yep. Which 1960 heist film, remade in 2001, stars five members of Frank Sinatra's Rat Pack? The Italian Job. Ocean's Eleven. In 2001, the Stag Inn at Titley, Herefordshire, became the first English pub to earn what culinary distinction? Michelin star. Yes. What name is given to the part of the electromagnetic spectrum between visible light and X-rays? Ultraviolet. Yes. Which city does Shelley describe in his poem Hellas as bequeathing, like sunset to the skies, the splendour of its prime? Athens. Yes. Babylon, this year's Love and Sail Away are all tracks from a multi-million selling album by David Gray that topped the UK charts in August 2001. Which album? White Ladder. Yes. Orsinus orca is the scientific name of a black and white mammal, the largest member of the dolphin family. What mammal? Killer whale. Yes. Which artist, best known for his portraits of Henry VIII and his court, created the series of woodcuts called The Dance of Death between 1523 and 26? Hans Holbein. Yes. Which British king prevented his wife, Caroline of Brunswick, from attending his coronation in 1821? He'd been separated from her for most of his married life. George IV. Yes. Which of the United States that was one of the original 13 American colonies was founded in 1682 as a holy experiment where religious and political freedom could flourish? Pennsylvania. Yes. What was the nickname of the half-American Buddhist monk with a price on his head, played by David Carradine in the 1970s television series Kung Fu? Grasshopper. Yep. Who was the pilot of the command module Columbia that remained in orbit around the moon when Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin made their historic lunar landing? Shepard. Michael Collins. Which author, born in London in 1882, was a novelist and playwright in the 1920s but had his greatest success when he started to write stories for his young son? Come on, time's up. Joe Orton. <laughs> 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 Fairly unlikely, I think you'd agree. A.A. Yeah. A. A. Milne. <laughs> you have no passes, Ken. A total of 20 points. <laughs> and finally, David Love again, please. And you, David, start out with 11 points, but the score to beat now is 20. So, here we go. What does the P.I. stand for in the title of the television series Magnum P.I.? Private Investigator. Yep. In which ballet, with music by Tchaikovsky, has the evil magician von Rothbard turned Odette into a bird who can only regain her human form at night? Swan Lake. Yes. What close-fitting woman's hat takes its name from the French for belle? Cloche. Yes. Which author, mainly of crime novels, insisted on using the letter L between her first and last names? It stood for her mother's family name, Lee. Pass. Inti, Viroca, Kocha and Pachamana were among the principal gods of which South American people? Aztecs. Inca. What was the original name of the charity Blind Veterans UK? It was set up in 1915 by the blind newspaper proprietor Arthur Pearson. 
Um, the Royal National Institute for the Blind. St Dunstan's. Which 2016 film tells the story of the writer Newt Scamander in New York's secret community of witches and wizards 70 years before Harry Potter reads his book in school? Pass. In 2001, the name of a vast peninsula of eastern Canada was formally added to the name of the Canadian province of Newfoundland to acknowledge that province's claim to it. What peninsula? Nova Scotia. Labrador. What general word is used, especially in America, for the killing of one person by another, whether as an act of murder or of manslaughter? Homicide. Yes. In computing, what name is given to the once widely used portable data storage device that consisted of a piece of flexible magnetic material enclosed in cardboard or plastic? Hard drive. Floppy disk. What is the title of the 1970s television series in which Bernard Hepton played Albert Foire, the owner of a Belgian cafe that was the headquarters of the resistance? Secret Army. Yep. What is the name of the lyricist who's famous for his partnership with Frederick Lowe? Lerner. Yes. St Patrick's Cabbage and None So Pretty are alternative names for what plant of the saxophrage family? It was the title of a song written by Noel Coward. House League. London Pride. Right. On the 30th of July 1956, President Eisenhower signed the official motto of the United States of America into law. What is it? Um... Hmm. No. Life, liberty... Uh, ah, not in, quite. No, it was in God, God We Trust. In God We Trust, in God yes. We trust. Yes, and yeah. I ought to have done. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, well, you got two passes. Yeah. Fantastic beasts and where Beast. to find them. That was that 2016 film. And it was Dorothy L. Sayers. Sayers, Sayers. yeah. Anyway, David, you've scored a total of 17 points. <laughs> So, we have a winner. Let's have a look at all the points. In joint third place, 17 points apiece, David, David and Nicola. Second place, 18 points, Kyle. First place, 20 points, Ken. Which means, of course, that Ken goes through to the final, the grand final. Congratulations to him. And if you would like to be a contender in the next series, do go to our website, bbc.co.uk stroke mastermind, and you can follow us on Twitter at Mastermind Quiz. And do join us again next time for more Masterminds. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.